Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be looking at another big failure of mine. I am putting this up after most of you on Instagram poll saying that you would like to watch this. So let me as always be philosophical and say at the outset that if you haven't failed as a gardener then you are probably not a good gardener. A good gardener makes mistakes and learns from it and that is what I would encourage you all to do as well. Do not be afraid of failures. A gardener who cries success all the time is, guess what, lying. So if you're a regular Urbanscape Bangalore viewer, then you would have seen that I had updated on a community tab on an experiment where I was trying to save an almost dying areca palm. As usual, I thought it was a piece of cake because areca palms are not all that fussy, but reality hit me hard and watch the rest of the video to see what eventually happened. So let's start by telling you why this plant looked like this. For the background, you can watch one of my most popular videos on Arika Palm. You can find the link above or in the description box below. Some of my viewers actually admonished me on how I handled the whole replanting bit in that video where I should have used a larger container, but I didn't. And I manhandled the roots by twisting it and whatnot. So this time I was confident because one of the leaves was green and the roots except for one looked good. But this was my first mistake. A big plant like this needs lots of good roots to be successful in saving it. Just one root can't work the magic on an areca palm. Second mistake was that the plant was clearly suffering from root rot. Root rot is a devastating disease in a plant that could kill the whole plant slowly. But as all gardeners, I was hopeful and went ahead with the usual adding of drainage material at the bottom in a newer, bigger container, then added a well-draining mix of compost, soil and sand, then added the plant, even staked it, thinking it would flop over during heavy winds. Then I added water and fertilized it heavily with compost, kept it in a shaded area and did whatever necessary to help revive this plant. But alas, what had to happen happened. The plant died because I ignored the symptoms of root rot. So let's now look at the lessons learned. In summary, when you take the pup of the areca palm, grow it in a bigger container without constraining its roots. You can trim the roots if necessary, but with clean shears. Water the pup only when the soil dries to avoid root rot. So if you do these simple things with your areca, you would be more successful in growing these wonderful foliage plants. Just as an extra, I would like to talk about leaf curling in your arecas. This is commonly caused by these caterpillar-like worms that eat the leaves, sleep in it and do whatever it can on these leaves. When these insects grow, they look all white and they can be spiny if you touch it. The only thing you can do is wait for the birds to eat them or take it and squish them. But I generally leave it as is for nature does its thing of keeping it under control somehow. So I don't interfere. So that is it folks. We have come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore. If you like this video then please like, share and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more updates. The links are given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again. Goodbye.